What's up YouTube, Flip Method here, and this is Valkyrie Anatomia, and today we're going to go over the Valhalla Assault Event. The Valhalla Assault Event is a currency exchange event, so you farm out in the stages, you get currency, you trade it in for goodies like tickets or uh, hammers or awakening materials. Okay? So each one of the stages requires different characters. You don't have to take those characters in, those char these characters just do more damage and uh, give you more rewards. So if you have these characters in your party, you're going to get more of the currency at the end of the um, stage, and the characters are going to do more damage. The bosses in each stage are also weak to dark, so not just the bosses, but all the enemies. So all three of these stages, uh, they're weak to dark, and in the respective stages, they're also weak to certain weapon types. So in this stage, uh, they're weak to swords. In this stage, they're weak to uh, uh, staves or rods. And in this stage, they're weak to uh, great swords. So, if you want to farm out the blue ones, they come from this stage. And the characters are Senna, Lu, and Sadamatsu. And if you want to farm out the red ones, then it's uh, Thela, and Freya, and Chloe. And if you want to farm out the yellow ones, then you would take a Nachi, Arngrim, or uh, Future Lineth. Okay? Uh, as <clears throat> as people play the stages, uh, this assault gauge goes down. So as the number of players uh, keep playing at the stage, it keeps ticking it down, and it eventually goes up, <clears throat> going all the way up to level 5. Each stage, every time you run it, rewards you with uh, a bonus ticket. Whenever you get 10 tickets, you can run the bonus mission. The bonus mission uh, will give you a lot more per run of the uh, currency, and it gives you all the currency. So that's nice. It um, gives you all three currencies. It also has a chance to drop three, which isn't very many, um, Odin medals. Uh, so you can farm out the Odin medals there too. You can see I have 209, but I've only actually gotten uh, 200 from the contribution rewards. Um, we'll go over the contribution and the ranking rewards in just a minute. Let's take a look at the shop first, though. So we have the exchange booth. If we go over the exchange booth and see what we can buy, um, the number one thing you want to buy is uh, Norn, which is the character. So Norn is a character that you can get out of here. Okay? Um, then you have your Awakening Ambers. Uh, don't buy this one because, uh, well... You're going to want these to be able to buy Norn. Uh, the Odin currency is kind of rare, so don't spend it for just one little Awakening Amber right now. Um, then you get the other Awakening Ambers. These are The Stamina Potions are really nice to farm out, because essentially it's one Stamina Potion per run, so you could just use those uh, to do multiple runs. That's what I've been doing. That's, why, that's how I've been able to run so many, is I just keep buying the Stamina Potions. Um and just pop one every time I want to go in. Uh, then you have your, you know, your hammers, which are used for leveling up your weapons. Uh, if you feel like getting these, although I would say don't, um, it's easy enough to farm out uh, other ways to get orbs. But these would be orbs for enhancing uh, your other orbs. These, these are just like bare mats. Um, and then uh, gold. Uh, you can see I've bought quite a lot already. Uh, I'm really liking the trade-in rate. It's, it's kind of nice. So we want to get Norn. So what's the easiest way to get Norn? Um, she's the new character. What she? How am I going to get her? I only have 209 and I've been farming this a lot. Well, so the easiest way to get her, what you're going to want to shoot for is to get a ranking of the top 10k players, okay, which is kind of, it's kind of easy to get in the top 10,000 players, um, because there's just not that many people going for the event, so you can see all the way down here, I keep scrolling, I keep scrolling, in the top 10,000, and you're going to get 700 medals, okay, 700 medals combined with uh, the contribution rewards, which is what you get for just playing the event. So if you just play the event, you can get all the way up to uh, this, which would give you 450. So 450, because I already have the 200, right? 
from the previous rewards as you go through the list. You know, you do the first one, you unlock some stamina potions and then gold and etc. And as you continue to go through each stage, you get more and more points, uh, contribution points, until you unlock this, which is uh, brings your total of Odin medals up to 450. And you can continue going if you feel like it, but after that point, you can, you can kind of stop if you want. Um, although I do like the uh, seven-star hammers. That's a lot of experience. Um, but uh, I would say shoot for just that. Just, you know, if you if you want to do the minimum amount in the event um, and get, for, uh, get Norn, uh, you're going to go for this, which it brings you up to 450. And just try to make sure that you can maintain somewhere into the uh, 10,000 the top 10,000 players. Um, which should be easy enough. Uh, the event does rerun very frequently, so if you don't get it in this run, uh, then perhaps whenever it comes back, you could finish up the points that you didn't get, and you'll get Norn on the second run, um, because the event does uh, recycle. Okay? Um, now, let's take a look at this stage. Now, this stage is requiring two gacha characters and Chloe. Um, say you don't have either one of those, but you still want to run this stage and get the optimum rewards. Well, you could run different characters in the stage that are, would help you out. So, there's three different types of um, gems that drop in a battle in this scenario. So normally whenever you are in a battle and you hit an enemy upwards, it drops one type of crystal. You hit an enemy downwards, it drops another type of crystal. That's the gold and the yellows. Well, in this one, whenever you hit an enemy, at any time, it can drop red crystals, and red crystals can uh, add bonus to your contribution rewards. Okay? So, allowing you to farm out more from the stage. So, if you want to get more bonus, but you don't have these characters, try to get characters that either increase the number of orbs that, or increase the number of crystals that drop, or hit more times. So, characters that have passives, I'll go ahead and go in because I already have a team set up with, with them all built up. Okay. Characters that have passives uh, that increase the crystal drop rate are Lou, Max, and uh, Ranvald. And you can see the uh, pure crystals on Lou's increase crystal drop rate when the start of your turn purification is at level 3 or higher. Max. Max, increased crystal drop rate 12% when attacking. And Ranvald. Ranvald increased crystal um, drop rate 9% when attacking. I only got him up to level 4. Um, because that's all I had the orbs for. But you can increase the passive crystal drop rate with those three characters. You could also try bringing in characters that have um, a lot of hits. Uh, so combo characters that just hit a lot of times, knocking out a lot of crystals. And those characters would be um, Caradoc, Freya, or Thyla. So I know that um, Freya and Thyla are bonus on this map, but say you want to go over to this map and you don't have Satomatsu. Well, you could bring in um, Caradoc, uh, Freya, or Thyla. Or you want to go over to this map and you don't have, um, say, Arngrim, or you missed Nachi. Um, then you could come over here and bring in... Uh, uh, Caradoc, Freya, or Thyla. There is one more way to get um, bonus drops, and that would be from items. Uh, the items from the Valhalla Assault Divine Weapon um, all can increase the uh, passive drop rate by 500%. So whenever it says achievement bonus at the end of the screen, um, that would be from these weapons. So if you have one of these weapons slotted into your characters, then it's going to give you achievement bonus and uh, like passive 500% contribution points. So it'll be much faster to farm out if you have those weapons. But if you don't, no harm, no foul. So again, if you're looking to farm out the event and you want to get Norn, you want to get this character here. Boom. The Thread of... I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Um, uh, you want to get her artifact... Uh, then all you're going to have to do is, like for the guarantee, um, is get in the top 10,000, which you see I've been playing. I could probably stop right now and get in the top 10,000, 
Um, so day one, I played pretty hard. I could probably just stop right now and get in the top 10,000. I don't think that 157th is going to drop to 11,000, you know, in four days. Um, so, and all I did was just farm out my hammers, and that's it. And uh, the contribution rewards, get the contribution rewards, uh, farm it out until you get up to 250. The 250 Odin medals. So 250 Odin medals, top 10k players, and you get Norn at the end of the week whenever they dish out the uh, uh, contribution rankings. Um, so that's it for the Valhalla Assault. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Peace.